We're uh, going to do a bit of testing again. Uh, I'm going to do the uh, the blue diamond fibres, full of diamond shot as well. You can see the diamond shot in them. As you can see, these are my pattern plates. You can see how many I get, get through when I'm testing. Let's see what these little fibres will do. As you've seen before, the rangefinder, uh, roughly at the 40 yard mark, but we will check it, make sure it's right. 40 yard, bang on. That's going to be our first test. I'm going to put it through three quarter choke. That's the eight, what we've just shot, the five or eight. It's not a bat pattern, but noticeably, we'll just see how many times we've hit the DVD. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One on the border, but we'll call it eight in, this, in the, uh, the DVD itself. Yeah, most of them have gone straight through it, so they're hitting pretty hard. At 40 yard, you know, I think that's a reasonable pattern from a fibre wad. When you get eight pellets like that, hitting as hard as that, it's going to do some damage to it. It's certainly going to break it well. It's a nice even pattern and there's, um, there's smoke off these pellets. So they're hitting hard enough for me. They're uh, plenty good enough up to 50, 55 yard, they'll still break clays. I know a lot of people have got no faith in fibres, but I'm starting to change my mind, uh, especially on the claying fibres. Uh, you know, the, I can't see a lot of difference in them right now. We'll see what the seven and a half uh, returns. This is the seven and a half test, fibre, blue diamond, same distance. They're not a, an evil punch on the shoulder, some fibres are, they're very, very nice to shoot. Very easy on the shoulder. But um, they are doing the business down at the other end as well, so let's go and check the seven and a half. For me, it's a hell of a pattern for seven and a half. And it's, uh, it's made quite a mess of the of the disc outside of the eight. It's just shattered the uh, the disc, so it's hitting quite hard. And I'll be able to count how many pellets has actually hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I suspect the seven, that looks like two's hit quite closely here. That's why it's destroyed that part of it. I'll just carefully take it down and just see if It's made a mess of the pellets, so which I'm very pleased to see. It's actually absolutely demolished the pellets, so that is definitely hitting out very, very hard for a fibre. You look at that. That's unbelievable. That for a fibre. My choice would be in the fibre blue diamonds would would be the seven and a half for long range stuff in the eights up to 35, 40 yard. You know, for anything showing plenty of belly, the eights is quite capable, but the seven and a half is is a fantastic little shell. Really hard it in, it's still good. It's a lovely pattern at 40 yard. Very, very good, very, very pleased with that. That's just one of our fibre tests. Uh, we're going to do the uh, the black gold fibre next week, uh, the seven and a half and the eights. We've done the seven and a half and the eight plus wad. Uh, we'll, we'll see what the fibres are doing. But, um, it just shows you what these little fibres are capable of doing. There isn't much difference between them and a the plastic. The difference is so marginal, you know, it wouldn't bother me if somebody said, look, you can only use fibres on this, on this clay round. It wouldn't bother me one bit. I'd be quite happy to shoot that uh, 28 gram seven and a half at any uh, sporting layout. We'll see you uh, next week when we do the the black gold fibre seven and a half and the black gold eight fibre.